You're watching That Hashtag Show with Kevin Conroy. I'm Dave Baker, and I'm here with Andrea, Andrea Romano. That's me. I am. So uh, you're instrumental in casting all of these DC things. Uh, I do the majority of the casting. I direct most of them, um, and I do more directing these days than casting. But yes, I did cast this one as well. The thing that's always so striking, especially starting when you know Batman the Animated TV series started, was the casting of everything was amazing. Mark Hamill is the Joker, which I'm sure you hear all the time. I can't say too much. Thank you. <laughs> But even like, uh, but even the question and all the the JLU cast is really, really, really great. Um, what's the process like when you guys are kind of going through this again and again and again? A, a, a large group of us involved in the production get together and throw out names, and there's names that come in from DC Comics, from Warner Home Video, from Gary Mariano, from various different people, Bruce Tim, the producer, whoever, the director, uh, and we all just go through them and like, no, that person has turned us down ten times or whatever. No, he's not quite right for this role. Let's keep him in mind for the next one. This one was, we've been trying to work with Michael C. Hall for years as well as Benjamin Bratt and it just worked out timing-wise and the perfect roles for them. He, Michael C. Hall is the perfect Batman for this Batman. Benjamin Bratt is a very, very good Superman for a Superman that isn't the son of jor -El. He's a different Superman. He's the son of Zod, right? Correct. And he's also raised by Hispanic people once he lands on Earth. So it's great to have a Hispanic actor play that as well. Um, so it's, you always try to find that perfect combination of actor and character. And, and, and I'm, I'm pretty good at it. But sometimes, I, you know, it's not always perfect. You're human. And I have had to replace actors. And that kills me. I don't ever like to replace an actor. So I work very, very hard to make sure. And I don't cast in a vacuum. We're all together making the decision. So we have a list of, say, five actors we want. And then the first one turns us down for whatever reason. The second one turns us down. And then we go, OK, we've got this third actor interested. But what's the best Superman to go with that Batman? Because they may all be good actors, but they're not going to sound good together. So it's a puzzle. It is a puzzle. What's the strangest one that you had to champion the most? The person you were like, this is the, no, trust me, so-and-so has to play this part. And everyone's like, I don't know. This or just in general? Just in general. Uh, Greg Sipes as Beast Boy mm -hmm. in Teen Titans because he was a complete unknown. And the producers were tossed up between him and another actor. I don't even remember who the other actor was. Well, who would now? Right. And I remember saying, I'm telling you guys, he's the guy. You, Greg Sipes will be the perfect Beast Boy. And finally they said, oh, okay, Andrea. And then I walk into the first session and I'm sweating. I'm so nervous. What if what if I screwed up here? But I, fortunately I was right and he was a terrific Beast Boy and still is a terrific Beast Boy. Absolutely. I mean, he's one of those, again, those quintessential castings like Kevin Con, like, F I mean, most of the people you bring to the table. Let's be real. Thank you very much. I hope so. I, tr I try to do my job well. Yeah, definitely. I think so. Thank you for uh, being on our show. Very nice to meet you. Thanks for having me.